Get started. Download the Jewing Assistant from the App Store. Search suggestion, type in Jewing Assistant. The app does support English, so don't be afraid if it shows up in Chinese. Once downloaded, turn on your device's Bluetooth, open the Jewing Assistant, and select the stabilizer from the menu now available. The Jewing Assistant gives an operator status updates through the monitor tab. Remote control of the stabilizer with the control tab. Visually easy to follow calibration steps and the most up-to-date firmware from the upgrade tab. The first tab is the monitor tab, which displays voltage and the angles of pitch, roll, and pan. The second tab is the control tab, Operators can power off the motors from the app. Change mode selection. The first mode we're going to try out here is follow mode. You can return the stabilizer to the home position by pressing mid position. By pressing rear, the gimbal will rotate 180 degrees. After follow mode is lock mode, where an operator has complete control over the movement of the gimbal. And remember, by pressing mid position, the gimbal can be returned to the home position. After lock mode is full mode, where roll is the only controllable axis. Full mode is meant for handheld camera movement. After the control tab is the third tab, calibration. During calibration, it is advised to remove your camera. To begin calibration, touch start calibration. Pay attention to the picture of the stabilizer. Position the stabilizer according to the visual information displayed and try to limit vibrations during calibration. The stabilizer will need to be calibrated on all six sides. Once a side is calibrated, the next position will be displayed. To help us with calibration, we're using a lens adapter to help hold the gimbal in place during calibration. You can use your own appropriately sized support. When the app is finished with calibration, a check mark will be displayed. The fourth and final screen is the Upgrade tab. Here the app will check with the factory server for the latest firmware updates. Updating the crane is as simple as touching Start Update. Make sure the batteries aren't too low before beginning the update. By touching the upper left hand corner, we'll reveal the app and stabilizer features. Connect will display available cranes to connect with. BLE Upgrade updates the Bluetooth firmware stored on the crane. It is not recommended to use the mobile app to upgrade the Bluetooth firmware on the crane. The factory recommends using the Chewing Desktop Assistant for BLE upgrade. Stabilizer settings is where users can make modifications to customize the movement of the crane. Adjustments can be made to dead zone, follow rate, control rate, degree of smoothness, fine tune, joystick orientation, and lastly, camera control interface. A quick note about the camera control interface as it allows a user from the handle of the crane to control shutter and zoom control of the supported camera. Once the desired settings are inputted by going to the upper right hand corner and touching save. Give the stabilizer a few seconds to upload the settings. If you completely hosed your stabilizer, no worries. Scroll all the way down and hit reset to restore the stabilizer to factory settings. And the last section is the about section. Here you can send notes to the developer. Thank you for checking out one of the most user-friendly camera stabilizers, the Jewing Crane. And only available through Gimbal Guru is the remote for the crane. All crane camera stabilizer kits come with a Bluetooth remote control and a dedicated quick charger. Get the most out of your stabilizer with the support of Gimbal Guru. Enjoy! This is a Jewing Take. Thanks for watching us. If you like it, please help us push it up. Any suggestion, please comment us below. For more brilliant Zhuyun videos, welcome to subscribe us.